Oh, ladies and gentlemen, yes indeed, good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's the beginning of the week, the summer solstice, that means it's the longest day of the year and delay that you've taken the time to be with us. We have our special guest on board, uh, an amazing lady doing absolutely super work uh, on board with mental health and uh, she's on board and she's also bringing loads of stuff with her and her daughter actually came up for a while but she took off like a rocket so she's probably looking in from somewhere uh, down the town. So Brenda, is that it? Brenda, we're looking forward to meeting you again. And uh, as I said, we're going live on both channels. We're on our Instagram channel. If you want to check this out, it's going to be on YouTube as well. So in association with Apache Pizza, you're very welcome to the 12 Bong Show. Bong, 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 bong. And we're going to ask our special guest if we can find her here. Yes, there she is. Could you give us a four bongs, please? Hello, bong, lovely. Bong, bong, bong. Julia, you're a legend. Thank you very much for that. We got four bongs from our special guest. Four more. Bong, 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 bong. Yes, indeed. It's the beginning of the week, and uh, what a fantastic day it is in Mullingar. It's the longest day of the year. That means. It's the longest light part of the year, I think. That's when the light's out all day. And the light is so, so important as well. And the sun is unbelievable because it's meant to be very good for your skin and <clears throat> your mental health. Right, let's continue. Birthday shout outs. And a frog appeared into my throat. Excuse me now, we'll get rid of this frog. <clears throat> He's out now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taylor McCormack, yes. Mullingar's uh, Miss Westmead and a big shout out to you Taylor on your birthday from us all here in the bus and we have uh, Shauna Adams and uh, Sean, uh, Sean is looking in from Greece so good afternoon or good evening to you in Greece we have Anne Doyle and that's not the newsreader it might be she's from Rat Drum in Wicklow so big shout out to you and Peggy Gavigan hello to you and a happy birthday to you from us all here on the bus Nigel Kavanagh is looking in from Dublin a big shout out to you Nigel and Annie Sweeney looking in from the UK a big shout out to you on your birthday Jack Wheelahan who is in Caluca Happy birthday, Jack. And uh, B-E-R-R-E, Beretta Alberto. I believe this man, I think we were chatting to this man in Mullingar in the Greville Arms about a year and a half ago. A big shout out to you, my friend. And he is in Italy on your birthday. We have Joe Tuhi. And actually, we interviewed Joe Tuhi um, down in the Mullingar station. And that's where he works. And Joe's birthday is today. We have Roma Roma. And it's a beautiful lady the whole way from Portleash. A big shout out to you. And John Dean, who is in Dublin. It's your birthday. Mary Donnelly in uh, Donnelly's Antiques at Donnelly's Cross. Out towards heading for Castle Pollard on your right with the petrol station. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to you, Mary. And Stony Burke. That's Stony Burke from the fantastic pub in Longwood. It's your birthday. Happy birthday there to you and don't forget ladies and gentlemen if you want to join us on board the bus uh, send us a pm that's a private message and we will get back to you now farmers markets there's one on in collins town on sunday and it's the collins town farmers market get there at about 11 o'clock get good parking and get all the goodies because they sell out very very quick in collins town uh Balnacree is on sunday week that's bringing us into july which is unbelievable the way things are going we're just flying into all the next months and uh, we're halfway there that's right we're halfway through the year uh, don't forget on uh, Saturday and Sunday Green Air in Robinstown that's the estate there on the road out, heading out for Castle Pollard out past the hospital past the hospital in your right on your left hand side is Robinstown keep going on down as you pull into Robinstown turn left uh, just before the petrol station and behind the petrol station is the bicycle shop now there's not an ordinary bicycle shop it's an electric bicycle shop and the technology is unbelievable but on Saturday and Sunday they are having a show and uh, they're collecting up all their beautiful bikes at the moment and they're going to bring them all down to show them off to you in in Robinstown on Saturday and Sunday and we hope to be talking to Alan maybe tomorrow evening about what's on store and maybe we might head off down the the supply for a spin or maybe not let's see how it works out but a big shout out to you Alan and that's a uh, uh, green air um, bicycles here in Mullingar electric bikes electric bikes don't forget it's electric and they don't look like electric because you've seen lad flying by and you not moving any legs 
and a real cool bike, that's an electric bike, right? And if you're going up hills, you can actually just turn it off and really be hard on yourself going up the hill. And then we go down the hill, turn on the electric. No, it doesn't work that way. Turn it around anyway. Anyway, these are things that are well to check out on Friday or Saturday and Sunday in Robinstown. Right, let me see. Uh, oh, we'd like to thank all our good friends who invited us. And uh, I've forgotten Helen, who is in the Granard Butter Market. And we were down there on Saturday and they invited us down and we had an absolute ball. A fantastic place and great to see farmers markets uh, appearing all over the countryside. And there's a lot of them around Mullingar. Uh, they, there's one in Clonmelon as well. I think it's every second Sunday. Um, big shout out to you guys as well. But uh, Granard Butter Market, big shout out to you. And thank you once again for the invitation. And as well as that, we got a few things in on the day. We met our friends in Knights of Conquest in the Heritage Centre in Granard. And we got to fire a few arrows. Yes, we were going back to our Norman roots because Dolan is Norman, I believe. And uh, to Bartle and Deirdre, thank you very much for giving us the honour to go <clears throat> and we got in we got one that was sort of up over the black and second one's two that started ahead for the black and three just missed the black about that much so we'll have to go back and uh, do more archery down there in uh, Knights of Conquest uh, Heritage Centre in Granard and they have great plans coming up they're going to build a village a proper village of Norman people in Granard with the local people of Granard uh, becoming the normal people, Norman people, and you can go and uh, check it out. It's like a, an interpretive centre. It's an Irish version of Disneyland. Okay, let's continue on. We have, yes indeed, our food shout out competition winner goes to the Roadhouse. And that's on the downs. That's on the left hand side as you're heading towards Dublin. If you get off the motorway and you get on the motorway and there's the first one on your left after the petrol station, which was Hamas years ago. Now it's wide open it was jammed yesterday and loads of people were eating out and enjoying the food of the roadhouse our facebook recommendation is westmead photos and loads of people are getting involved and all the fantastic photographs that are coming in you would be astonished so have a look at that and uh, see what you think even actually hit um like and join the page Okay, shop local uh, pick of the day is Rochford Superstore and uh, they have everything in the shop. If you don't need it, they don't have it. I think that's their logo. Could be wrong. Send it in and if I'm wrong, Thomas, send me a message. Okay, let me see. We are hiring in Mullingar here. The Greville Arms is hiring at 044 9348565 and that's the hotel in, in Mullingar. They look for bar staff and waitresses uh, and maybe waitress and men as well. Is that a, what do you call a waitress, man? A waiter. A waiter. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Simple things, but they don't come to your head when you're chatting like this. Okay, it's the digger driver in Mullingar wanted, and uh, the phone number is ring Alan at 087 192 I'm not good at digging, but I tried the job anyway because it'd be great fun having fun in a digger. That's a digger driver needed in Mullingar. Mileage tires in at loan are looking for a full time mechanic. It's a full time job, so if you get in there, you're there every day. And uh, that's uh, check out their Facebook page, Mileage Tires and Canor Hygiene. are looking for a driver, so if you need a, either a delivery driver, so if you're looking for a job, go to their Facebook page or go to info uh, canor.ie um, forward slash dot com. I'm not too sure, but just go to their Facebook page, look for the yellow logo, and all the information is there. And if you have a CV, throw the CV in there as well. Okay, let me see what else we've got. Lottos, yes. The, all the GA friends around Mullingar are getting involved in creating cash because they need cash to keep the whole machine working of the GAA locally here in Mullingar and they're doing lottos and bingos. Now the bingos are off I think at the moment because of the weather. They will come back in when it gets a little bit dark. And then uh, that's it. The lotto is on tonight in uh, the Downs GAA Club. So go to their Facebook page. You can get involved and win a couple of pounds for yourself. I think it's over five grand anyway. And Multifarnham, they have €9,000 to give away in their lotto. They had one last night at, uh, at about 8 o'clock last night. And Anne-Marie sent us information to say that no one won the lotto. But uh, a few friends won €50. Euros. Uh, Davy Nolan, he won €50. Euros. And Ferry uh, Turtles Pass, he won €50. Euros. And a lad called B-E-A-N-I-A, Beanie, Beanie, at the lake. I don't know. But anyway, he won money. He won 50 quid. He's probably still at the lake and got a load of cans. 
Happy days to you, sir. So I think that's uh, all our information. Sometimes I lose some information. Sometimes I pass it by and uh, we have it all here anyway. Uh, we have our special guest on board and her name is Julia Smith. And we're going to turn our cameras around to our guest today. And uh, there is one camera. Camera one is on you, my dear. And let's turn around camera two. So this is Julia and uh, Julia Smith is with uh, Mental Health um, Mullingar, Mental Health Ireland. Isn't that correct? All right. Is that it? That's our name. But we are affiliated to Mental Health Ireland. So the project is a, a joint project. Okay, and you've loads of big logos here and stickers and stands and look yeah, at this, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It's all stuck around Mullingar and it's saying, how are you? Now, uh, how are you is a real Mullingar thing, isn't it? How are you? How are you? How are you yeah. going on? And that's what I am trying to say, how are you, rather than how are you? <laughs> so I'm encouraging people today to say, how are you? Yeah. How are you? Or hello? What's happening with you? How are you feeling? Anything that just connects people together. Uh, we're not talking enough at the moment and uh, for the last year and a half a lot of people have not been able to chat to each other or have not bothered to go out and chat to each other or just said um, I'm just going to stay here on my own and get depressed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Talk to somebody because there, there are so many ways you can connect now. That's right. With, uh, email, text, but the, the Facebook, the Zoom, all of those. I did it myself with my family in America. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what did you have? A Zoom call? No, we we had Messenger, mm -hmm. but uh, which is a bit limiting now. There's only eight, but we there's eight of us. Oh, so is that on Zoom? Bad. Is it? No, that's on Messenger. It's Facebook. It's oh, Facebook. Can you go live? Yeah. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. You can go live on that. Eight of us all over the America, Denmark, England, Ireland. Absolutely. Talk. I just have the crack. And do you do that regularly? Do you do that once a week or we what? We did it more regularly when it was uh, early yeah. pandemic, early, yeah. early lockdown. Right. Uh, it's fading off a little bit now because everybody's getting out a little bit more. Exactly. And yeah. the streets are full. And there's a lot of people coming into oh. town and a lot of people chatting to each other. And yeah. it's great to see that the Mullingar is getting busier um, with yeah. people calling in and saying hello. But we're getting back to your... Um, today is the main day for uh, Hello Westmead, how are you? Is this in every county or is it just in Westmead? It started off in Carlow. Oh, right. 2015. Yeah. Carlow Mental Health Association did it as a little project of their own, mm -hmm. but it expanded. Mayo then took it up a few years later, Mayo Mental Health Association. Right. This is our first year to do it. It's a bit of a learning curve for us because uh, we, said, we said we'd just put some advertisements in the, in the local papers, the topic and the examiner. Yeah. And then we started on social media and we went on Facebook and Instagram. Right. And we have uh, connections there with different organisations. We weren't able to do every organisation in Westmead mm -hmm. or every town. But we, di we did a few and we'll see how it goes. Next year, Mental Health Ireland are hoping that it will be a national campaign. And maybe every county will take it up. It mightn't be on this day. They could pick a different day mm -hmm. earlier in the year. We just picked this day as it was coming to the longest day. We wanted to say, on the longest day, ask the shortest question, how are you? And uh, what's the feedback so far? I mean, uh, you, you were on uh, a few different local channels here as well, on Facebook, you're on News, uh, News and Views here in Mullingar. Yeah. You were down the Century, or the, cent what do you call the garden? The Sensory Garden. Sensory Garden as well. We were there the day that lovely garden was opened. Mm -hmm. And John Nooney was there with his camera and gave us the opportunity to say a few words. And we were delighted. And we were delighted with the sensory garden. It was, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we might go back there for another photo before the campaign ends this evening. But um, So yeah. yourself now, what, what is your job or what do you do yourself and how did you get involved in this? Well, I'm um, treasurer of the association. Mm -hmm. Our chairperson is Finn Gallagher. A mm -hmm. lot of people in Mullingar would know Finn. Uh, our secretary is Nully Coffey, another well-known person. Mm -hmm. I do treasurer mm -hmm. and I've been involved for 20 years. The association itself is going for, since 1969, I think, which is over 50 years here in town. And we give support to the mental health services in Longford West Mead in any way we can. Funds, connections, running groups, having art, photography, 
whatever, whatever we can do to, to assist. And this part of our thing is health promotion. Mm -hmm. So in this campaign, we're doing health promotion, getting people to talk. But we do other living, living life well, they call them programs. All right. For uh, people with mental health difficulties to help them to reconnect with society and that. So, do you think um, we're going to have a huge problem soon, or is our problem being controlled uh, with mental health? I mean, it's going off in a whole different direction as well. We've all these social medias going on, and sometimes I think people are not talking to each other anyway. So we've a load of Facebook and internet and all this type of thing, and everyone's in swiping away like good on throwing messages down when, <laughs> and it could be a bad or it could be good. Yeah, yeah. But still, uh, not communicating with each other on the street. So, I mean, when you see each other on the street, and you could be a friend on Facebook and the whole lot, and not actually, um, uh, not say to the person, well, how are you? You know, they, they actually, so we we were after becoming two different people. We're a, social, a person who's in social media, who's the other side of our ego, our alter ego or whatever. And the other person is the person then that's out in the street, who's quite conscious of themselves, literally walking down the street themselves and find it hard to literally say, well, how's it going? And I do it myself now. If I'm driving down the town and I know lads, I shout at them just because I can. And I know, not, I, but I, I know I just be, I don't mean to be bold or bowled, but just to recognize and to make, to make us talk to each other. I remember being away many, uh, a good few years ago and I was in Nashville and uh, I was there and I, and I found, you know, that American thing and the lads driving around with the big trucks and you're thinking, geez, your man's a shotgun in the back of that joke and anything could happen here. And it was that wildness to Nashville and Memphis as well. But when I came home and I walked down the streets and I'll always tell this story, I came down by um, one of the shopping centres. There's two lads in the street chatting to each other and they were roaring and they were cursing, our natural cursing, <laughs> as we do, right? Yeah. But I thought to myself, I'm home. By just that simple thing of two lads chatting to each other and shouting and cursing, not bad cursing, but just the, our natural cursing. But they were connecting with each other and they were recognising each other. And really, I think that's what we need, as I said, with this, hello, Westmead, how are you? Uh, that's the most important thing. People come to town and talk to each other or ring each other. Ring See, the thing about the thing with the ringing thing is you ring someone on the phone and they go, sorry, uh, please leave a message. Right. <laughs> and we're all at it. Yeah, it's gone yeah. to that stage. And remember the time that we had uh, phones ringing? Phones stopped ringing. Do you know that you got the mobile phones and, oh, geez, your man's got a call. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, he, and sometimes we're sitting in restaurants and yeah. we're all doing this. Yeah. Though we're sitting with somebody yeah. and we go out with them to eat, you know, or to, to enjoy each other's company. But... I have done it myself now. We, I'm, uh, you know, we're doing it naturally. And I mean, that's what we need to keep an eye on. I mean, I'm as bad. I live in this phone as well. And I mean, my head is fried looking into it. But as I said, we do it and we, we have a sh two shows and that type of thing. And I try to say to myself, well, <laughs> it's for a good cause. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Or it's we're doing something uh, that's important, we hope, or that it's, it's, it's keeping actually me mentally sane. That's what this is doing. Yes, but whatever... Whatever it is that helps you is fine. Do you know whether it's talking, whether it's ringing, whether you join a choir, or whether you do some writing or go out beautiful lakes out here, photography, whatever. It doesn't matter what you do, that anything that helps you. Mm -hmm. And Mental Health Ireland and the site Your Mental Health all have um, resources that if you read up, you can lead you to. Um, yeah. Me out here. We, we could go to your page in that Mullingar yeah. Mental Health Association that is a Facebook page and then multi uh, WS Mead Mental Health Ireland dot IE yeah. and that's yeah. another page but as I said all I, the most important thing is to scratch the surface and get people just to connect and start talking in some shape or form whether to send a pigeon to you or whatever <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, look, yeah. Mary, yeah, I'm going to give you the last word on, on, on that's, that's Mary Jennings looking in there. Um, hello to you. Um, look, I'll give you the last word, Julie. Um, if anyone wants to get in contact with you, where can they get in contact with you? Or how can, uh, how can we connect us this way? We're, we're doing this, we're putting it out on all the platforms. You're on the, the Facebook, you're on the Instagram, you're on uh, Twitter, not Twitter, but you're probably on uh, the, the local papers. I'm not on Twitter, no. We're on... Uh 
up for this campaign at mm -hmm. Hello Westmead, how are you? We're just on Twitter and a load of resources. Uh, their site www.mentalhealthireland.ie forward slash resources will tell you all the things you need to know and where to get help. You've learned a lot from this whole process yourself. You're doing the old forward slashes and the whole lot. Before you started this campaign, did you um, understand social media or do you think you've, lo you've learned a lot? I understood enough to, to, you know, look at it. Yeah. Now I've learned, you know, that you can connect with a lot of people on social media, uh, connect with a lot of organisations. Mm. Um, Mullingar Metal or Mullingar Credit Union have been a great help to us in funding because oh, you know, there's funding for yeah for all this, for all this stuff yeah for advertisements and that and uh, Mental Health Ireland provided other resources which were great you know it's it's, it's not just us do you know. Um, I know, and it's very easy to get a, a detached from it. You end up yeah. in a on a sort of a showbiz run. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah and yeah, you, yeah. and so you, this, for me now personally, mm. there is a, a bit of a buzz to this. Mm. You know that mm. that I suddenly realise. Oh well, I was at home a long time, and I was getting comfortable at home. Yeah. You know? But now I see that you know you can be doing little things. Yeah. Voluntary. We're volunteers in. Uh, Mullingar Mental Health Association, we're all volunteers. Uh, we don't do counselling or anything like that. We just signpost people to where help is available. Excellent. Well, look, thank you very much for joining us on board the ship as Julia Smith, ladies and gentlemen. This is her big poster. You'll see it's stuck all over the place. And the one question we're going to ask you every day, today, today, and today is, hello, how are you? And uh, in Mullingar language, it's how are you? Uh, I always remember being away on tour and we met these people in South Africa and they were saying, how's it, how's it? And we'd say, no, no, the way you say how are you is in Mullingar, you say how are you? And we had them with their South African accents going, how are you? So we really trained them up very well. But look on Instagram, uh, there's friends looking in sideways because of a sideways camera. Rachel Kenny is there and Dot Hickey is there and Cliff Flynn is there and Montgomery is there. Great to have you on board. Thanks for looking in. And if you can do anything with this, lads, share it to someone or just say hello to someone. Say hello to someone the whole way down the street today. Or if you're at a petrol station and you meet another lad filling his car, say, how are you? And if he turns his head away, it doesn't matter. You've made an effort to connect with him. I think that's the most important thing. So no matter where you are, in a shopping centre and people have their masks on or whatever, go, oh yeah. And they don't know who it was. <laughs> right, good luck to you on Instagram. And let's see what else we got here. We've got friends looking in as well on, 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 on our Facebook page. And we just say a quick, quick hello to them. Let me see. Oh my God, there's a lot of people looking in. A lot of people sending love. So that's uh, definitely, Julia is getting all that love here today. And uh, what a fantastic lady she is. Terry Harris is looking in there. Hello, Terry, how are you? Where in the world are you? And Bill Whaley's looking in from... Oregon and uh, he's from Mullingar originally and he sent us five buses thanks for that Catherine Brown's looking in from Dublin Bridget Neeson's looking in there from England and Valentina's looking in from Bucharest uh, great to know you're on board and uh, Karina Ball is looking in from Holland using the hashtag from Mullingar in Mullingar and uh, all our friends who are looking in you're getting a, a, a lesson in how we say hello in Mullingar it's how you how are you? How are you? And uh, let me see. Uh, Catherine Brown's looking in there and she sent me a bus. And Noreen Murphy's looking in from bed, her bed. And I uh, hope you're very comfortable today, Noreen. And uh, thanks a million for uh, helping out with the events that we had over the weekend. We were uh, creating awareness and collecting a few pounds, I hope, for Ken Smullen's food appeal. Uh, we were out in Multifarnham Cookery School. And once again, to Kamalika, thanks for um, inviting us. And I hope I didn't annoy you while you were cooking the dinner. Uh, Bridget Nielsen is there as well looking in and Martin Fitzpatrick's looking in from uh, Carlo uh, Mary Jennings is looking in there keep an eye out for them people on the canal Mary the, they're heading your direction we were chatting to them yesterday and Audrey Nielis is looking in there from Claddy and she always sits in the front seat in our virtual bus and I think we've got contact. Oh, yes, Mary uh, says, uh, good morning, Ray, and all uh, friends on the bus. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And uh, I think, oh, Diana is looking in there from Coot Hill. Diana, give us a weather forecast. The sun is absolutely boiling down here and the grass is growing white. It's that warm. And uh, who else we got? How we got? Do we got? We got? We got? I think his friend's just looking in and uh, just saying hello. So once again, thank you very much. And uh, from our VIP on board, Turn my camera with a
breaking anything on this and there's Julia and she is on board the bus and that's what it looked like and that's the sign upside down so once again thanks Julia thank you and from myself and the bus have a super afternoon we're going to be back here at five ish with the bus sessions bye for now